I had a really personal experience with food um, about eight years ago when I was living in New York, kind of before I really dove into this. Um, I had a guy who just taught me how to grow food one summer and I just volunteered for him and we were growing food for a food pantry and he told me that everything that you grow you can take home and eat, right? Because at the time, you know, I wasn't making a lot of money, I couldn't afford, you know, all that. So I did, I took it home and I, um, I ate what I grew and it really did change my eating habits, right? Because I had access to that food and then I really actually wanted to eat it because I had grown it and you get that ownership over the food and I think that's an experience that we try to give other people, right? We want anybody to get reconnected to food because I really think that that's been lost and I think we have this very convenient food system that doesn't really lend itself to connection to real food and connection to where food comes from and and all of the joy that comes into producing it and delivering it to other people. I think um, it's gotten so transactional. We want to try to help people relearn how to eat and how to think about food. Long term, we'd like to be financially successful enough where we can give our technology away to schools that need it most, that can't afford it. So ideally, we'd start a foundation or some sort of 501c3 and fund it through people who get our technology just because they want to grow food either in their basement or if they're a farmer and they want to take production to scale. Um, there's a lot of different ways that our technology fits in with different markets um, at lots of different scales. And so by trying to approach lots of different market segments and by growing um, our reach, we hope that one day we can be a source for um, teachers who work with kids that really need our technology the most. Being in an agricultural business, it's really important to make sure that people are safe. And so it, uh, we try really hard to have processes and practices that keep our customers safe, but at the same time, we need to make sure that our business is safe. And so we work really hard and we collaborate with Able Insurance to make sure that we have um, all the protection we need so that no matter what happens, um, that we can keep doing the work that we love doing.